Okay, so in this video, I my real goal is to do this problem that you see here, okay? Uh, to solve for this unknown number k so that this function is continuous at the point k. And it's not hard for me to show you how to do that. It really isn't difficult. If that's what you're interested in, if you think you're ready for that, then you can skip to that point. But I think it's better if I do a little bit of explaining along the way. Uh, to get us to the point where we can really understand what's happening in that problem that I'd like to show you. So let's start here. Uh, suppose that all you want to do is draw the graph of this, okay? What this is, is the line y is equal to x plus 1 with an open point at x is equal to 1. So why is that all that this is? One thing I note about this is that this function, whatever, whatever it turns out to be, is undefined and therefore not continuous at the point where x is equal to 1. So I can see that there's an open point at 1 because this formula does not return a y value when you put one in. That's what ha would have to happen if there was a point at that spot. So this is the line x is y is equal to x plus one with an open point at one. So what's the reasoning for that? Well, if you take this formula, it does reduce. We can factor, we can cancel, and we can get to that point, all right? Yes, so all this is is really just that. That complicated looking formula is really just x plus 1 as long as you don't plug 1 into it. Well, what's, again, what's the reasoning behind that? Well, see these equal signs? This does not really agree with this when you put 1 in. What does this give you when you put 1 in? It gives you 2. What does this give you when you put 1 in? doesn't give you anything. So if I'm going to say that this really is equal to that, I have to have an exception. I have to say they're equal as long as you don't put one in. They agree everywhere else. Okay. One other way to look at it is when you cancel this, you're, you know, you cancel numbers, you don't cancel letters. Uh, if x was one, you would be canceling zero over zero. And you can cancel 0 over 0. 0 divided by 0 is not equal to 1 and therefore doesn't cancel. Okay, so there's my reasoning for this being what it is. And it looks like this, okay? There's your line uh, x plus 1, which is a line with a y-intercept at 1. And if you could put 1 for x in it, you would get 2 for y. So that's where the hole in the graph is. There's a hole in the graph at 1 for x and 2 for y. Okay. All right. So now you know what something like that looks like. Just a line with a hole in it. Let's build this up a little bit more. Um, so can you graph this one? Piecewise function. y is equal to x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as long as x is not 1. Remember, we just talked about this. What is this thing? See that formula? What is it? It's really just x plus 1 as long as you don't put 1 into it. Okay, well, so that condition's already there. And this says y is equal to 5 if x is 1. That's just a point, 1 for x, 5 for y. Well, so that would look like this, wouldn't it? There would be that line with the hole in it that we are just talking about. And the second part right there just says y is 5 if x is 1. Oh, there's a point, 1 for x, 5 for y. All right, so that graph, you're looking at it at this point, that's called a removable discontinuity. And the reason why it's called removable is just because of this part. Like, that. if only that point was down here, it would be continuous. That's why we call it removable. It's just this point is displaced. It's in the wrong spot to make that continuous, okay? If f of 1 was 2, the graph would be continuous. If uh, y was 2 and x was 1, that point would be right there, and it would be solid and continuous. And That's why it's called removable, because it's like it can be fixed. 
if you just redefined uh, this function up there a little bit, okay? In fact, then, what does this one look like? x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 if x is not 1, and 2 if x is 1. Well, this is a line with a hole in it at 1 for x, 2 for y, and this fills that hole in, 1 for x, 2 for y. So that graph is continuous at 1. Okay, so when I would sketch this, I would just draw that line, y is equal to x plus 1, leaving off the point where x is 1. That would be this point. But then when I go to incorporate the second piece of the function in, it fills in the point. All right, so that's probably enough preliminary information. Let's talk about how you would do something like this, okay? So here's this function where I don't see a whole lot of numbers there. I only see the exponent and the 4. And the function is k squared minus x squared over k minus x if x is not k, and y is 4 if x is k. All right, so that might sound kind of like what I was showing you a minute ago. And I want to solve for this unknown number k, which you see all over the place, so that this function is continuous at x is equal to k. Well, that's, this is actually really easy to do. All right. Uh, it just takes three steps. Very easy, very easy. But let me explain a little bit about what we're looking at. See that thing right there? Let's reduce that. I can do some factoring. I can do some canceling. And I see that this may look complicated, but it's just equal to that. Why did I put this exception? Why did I say they're equal if x is not k? Is this undefined if you let x be k? What if you let x right here be the number k? I don't know what the number k is, but what's k minus k? It's zero. This is undefined if x is equal to k. What about this? You can plug k into that and you'll get 2k. You'll get a number, all right? You'll get 2k. These two things won't agree with each other if x is equal to k. Plus, when you cancel this, if x and k were the same number, what would you be canceling? Well, that would be 0, and that would be 0. If x and k were the same number, you would be crossing out a 0 over a 0, which you can't do. I know it might be hard to see that, yes, that is a number. We might not know what it is, but it's math, and at the end of the day, you're canceling a number. But that number can't be 0 and 0. That's why the exception's there, all right? Okay, so let's let's do this. So let's, let's say to be kind of dramatic about it, I'm going to say, all right, let's, let's not even think of it this way. Let's say all this thing right there really is, is k plus x, all right? k plus x. If x is not k, so I got that condition. It's already built in to cover it right there. Uh, now, wouldn't we just need, like this formula and that to agree here like that's that's got to be two and it's got to agree with the line okay you know we want that point right there to be on the line we don't want it to be somewhere else okay so we want it to be like this we don't want it to be like that so what's the difference well, these two things don't agree with each other when you, like, say when you put one in. like it's, So there, if I put one in, what am I going to get? I'm going to get two. So there's that hole, that open point at one for x, two for y. And in here at one, where am I? I'm at five. Well, five's all the way up there, right? Two's down here, five's down here. We, need, we would want them to be both two if it was going to be continuous. So here's what we need. I need this formula here. To agree with that one at this point okay so I need k plus x to be 4 at the point where x is k okay so that's what I need to happen if I let x be k this is gonna say k plus k equals 4 then it's gonna say 2k is 4 and then by dividing it's gonna say k is equal to 2 that's our answer okay uh, what does k have to be so that this function is continuous at the point x is equal to k? k needs to be 2. 
End of story. That's it. Let's look at it, though. It would look like that. So k is 2. k squared minus x squared. So that would be 4 minus x squared. If x is not k, k was 2. And 4 if x is k, k was 2. And then this thing right here reduces to 2 plus x if x is not 2. So when I graph it, I'll draw what's this part right here going to be. This part right here is going to be the line 2 plus x leaving off the point where x is 2. So here's the line 2 plus x if x is not 2. Why did I put that hole right there at 4? Well, that's the point I have to leave off. If x was 2, where would you be on that line? 2 plus 2 is 4. That's where the hole is. That's the point I'm leaving off. So to figure out where that hole is, I, I go ahead and I put the 2 in there and I know. Okay, so that's why 2 and 4, I got the hole. And this is incomplete, but I've got that first part right there. Here's the graph of 4 minus x squared over 2 minus x. If x is not 2, looks like this has a hole at 2 for x, 4 for y. And my picture is incomplete. If I sketch this second part, does it fill this in and make it continuous and solid? Let's see. This other part, this other piece of the function would be, would be to say put a point at 2 for x, 4 for y. So 2 for x, 4 for y is right here. And that does complete it. It's continuous. And that answer must have been correct.